Hey, Jared here from soundguitarlessons.com. I get asked all the time about practice routines, uh, people wanting a suggested practice routine. There are so many options that could work, but here's a really, really simple solution. If you ever find yourself not making progress, you find yourself getting off track from your goals, if you find yourself not really knowing how to structure your time best, then you can default to this super, super simple practice routine that really, really works amazingly well. So I think you'll find this really helpful. This is how I structure my time, especially when in doubt. And at the end, I'll give you kind of an exceptions, you know, what other kind of things work as well. But let's talk about this exact practice routine that I think is really the perfect practice routine, especially when in doubt of what to do. You want to group your practice time and your focus time into sections of basically categories. I've been practicing this way for a long time, and I've simplified it into four big categories that kind of surprised me, actually, because I used to think I got to practice um, chords, and I got to practice scales as a category, and I should practice sight reading as a category. But check this out. This is how I find that I make the most progress, especially when in doubt. Your first section is just warm up. And I've talked a ton about warm up on my channel and other places. I think it's very, very critical. But don't mistake warm up with technical practice. Warming up and technique practice are different things. Practicing is trying to improve on something. Warming up, think of it as a totally like a mental warm up, a kind of like vibe warm up, a getting in the zone warm up, also physical, you know, a little bit. This can be anywhere from two minutes to half an hour. It really can be anything, but just have this kind of threshold moment where you're getting into your centered space of practicing. Because what we want out of practicing more than anything is to feel like we had a nourishing time doing it. We will definitely learn if we feel some fulfillment from just showing up and putting in the practice time. So warming up, whatever you want it to be, warming up. Don't be working on something really hard for you when you're warming up, but you can use anything otherwise to warm up. The next thing you want to do in this practice routine is focus after your warm up on the one, the one big thing that you actually want to make the most progress on. You choose one thing and you're like this, just find it in your heart and say like, this is the thing that I care about getting better at. Like, oh my gosh, if I could get better at this. And this can change day to day. So in a practice session, choose one thing. One thing that you're like, I want to actually skyrocket my progress on this one thing. And you work on that in a very, very focused way. And you try to actually move the needle on it. You could do that for several days in a row on the same thing, or you can actually change it day by day, but you're actually trying to move the needle on one thing. That is your second section of your practice. That's the main dish. That's the meat protein of your practice routine. You're actually trying to get better at something. Section number three, this is the brilliant part about this practice routine because our downfall usually is that we're trying to focus on too many things at once. We get worried that we, we're wor working on something and we're letting everything else go. So we try to practice everything. We don't make progress on anything. Does this sound familiar? So section number three of your practice routine is the back burner items. This is anything and everything that you wish and hope to make practice progress on someday that you're scared of letting go, that you're scared of not spending time on, This is these are your back burner items. What you do in these is you literally just use this as a time to stay in touch with these things. You're not trying to get better at them. If you do, fine, but you are just saying, hello there. I remember how inspired I get when I think about you, you know, <laughs> improvisation on the blues or whatever your thing is. Like it could be so many things and you just do a tiny bit of, of like touching base with it to keep the barrier to entry open. This is your back burner list. One of these items might inspire you to say, ooh, tomorrow, next session, I'm gonna use this as my main item and actually make progress on it, okay? So you have a list of all that stuff. It could just be in your head and you try to touch base on things you really care about getting better at, but you're not caring about moving the needle on it in that session. And then the final segment of your practice session is to let go of everything and do your ideal, put your head into your ideal space of what you want to be as a musician, as an artist, as a creative person, as a guitarist, whatever you want to express yourself, whether that's improvisation, noodling around, songwriting, uh, going to Spotify and just trying to learn some songs by ear, you know, something that makes you feel like this is why I do this. I am trying to be an artist or I am trying to, you know, play. It's playtime. It is playground. It is like your four-year-old on the playground that you wouldn't dare tell them what the instructions are for how to play. You just want them to play, and that is a beautiful way to learn. So you want to play, and this is such a critical thing. We 
often do it, but we're doing it within the structure of having learned something intentional, touch base on back burner, warmed up. Now your playtime should feel very fruitful and it should also trigger for you what you care about. What are your red flags that show you, oh crap, I got to get better at that because that really didn't sound good. Maybe that'll be something I make sure is in my back burner list. Maybe I'll focus on it next time, but you play, 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 and it shows you this guides us over long periods of time. This actually steers us towards what our North Star is because that's right that's an individual thing and it's not, there's no one right thing that we're supposed to sound like or be like or know even. There's really not such a thing as like someone's a better guitarist than someone else. Like everyone is just so different. So you have to play and find your inspiration in that fourth part of the practice routine. Now, the final thing I wanna say is Practice routines can be anything and everything, and all that matters is that in the moment, it feels like it's working for us. All that matters is that we feel nourished by music and we walk away feeling inspired. So this, you could do a spreadsheet and work on five minutes exactly timed of any, there's no wrong way to uh, structure a practice routine. It's all a construct for something that we want to feel good about. So that's why I said this practice routine absolutely works, especially when in doubt. So if you have something else or you add to it or you adjust it or whatever, it's not just a universally correct thing to do, but it's something that I know works for people that I've worked with, for myself. And it's so simple and it's something we can default back to and get very inspired by and see progress all happening at once. So I highly recommend trying this routine at least in those times where you feel like you need a little bit of guidance or structure or um, kind of put the fire under you or kind of just want to make progress on something really specific, then you're going to because of that second phase of the practice routine. Remember, technique practice for things that we're trying to improve our technique on and warming up are different things. But a technique exercise, once we have it down, can be a great warm up. My favorite warm up and technique exercise of all time is something that I put into a PDF that's just called the best, <laughs> best warm up exercise uh, PDF. And there's a link to it in the description if you want to get that totally for free. And I'll send you a video where I play it and you can check out a demonstration of it as well. I think it's the best warm up because I have it down or technique exercise if you don't have it down. You can also go to soundguitarlessons.com slash warm up to get that. If you want some more juice when it comes to practice, practice routine, practice strategy, practice psychology, you might be interested in the actual science of it. Well, this is one of my favorite topics and I've read a bunch of books about it and I put some content out there about this. And one of the best videos I have is actually a live stream where I went over in detail a ton of stuff about how to get the most out of your practice time with real practice psychology and talking about um, the science of it. So I'll put a link to that on the screen here if you're watching on YouTube and there's a link in the description if you wanna go to that and just take your time. It's a long thing, it's about an hour and a half and it has amazing information in there so you can break up watch it at different times until you watch the whole thing but if you want some inspiration about practicing then that should really help i post a new lesson video every week next week's lesson is about how to find the right scales to play over the right chords when improvising it's going to be a fun lesson hope to see you there thanks so much for watching take care and happy practicing